Good day everyone, this is Mara J. Pinky and Son back again for another video. This video contains my response to the third challenge that was given to us by our dear professor, Dr. Celestina V. Siglos. The third challenge is to do research online about the current issue and events, especially in the controversy between Lieutenant General Antonio Parlat Jr. and the 15 senators. Let us first talk about the people behind the issue. Before proceeding to my um, response or my per per uh, perspectives, so who is Lieutenant General um, Antonio Parlotti Jr.? Antonio Parlotti Jr. is the new Southern Luzon military commander. He is a Philippine Army general known for his hardline stance against communist rebels, assumed command of all military forces. So in short, he is an anti-communist hardliner. He is also a key figure in the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict, or known as MTF Alpha, which operates the government's localized peace talks with the individual fronts of the NPA and its militias. On the contrary, the 15 senators are the following. First, Senate Minor Minority Leader Franklin Rilon, Senate President Vicente Tito Soto III, Senate President Pro Tempor uh, Ralph Recto, Majority Leader Juan Miguel Miguel Zubiri, Nancy Binay, Pia Cayetano, Laila de Lima, Sherwin Gachalian, Richard Gordon, Lisa Honteveros, Panfilo Ping Lacson, Francis Kiko Pangilinan, Aquino Coco Pimentel III, um, Grace Poe, uh, Joel Villanueva, but the not other nine senators are belonging to the majority bloc who did not co-sign the um, resolution against Parlade. And they are Senators Juan Edgardo Sani Angara, Ronald Bato de la Rosa, or, and um, Christopher Bongo, Manuelito Lapid, uh, Aimee Marcos, Manny Pacquiao, Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., Francis Talentino, and Cynthia Villar. So the Senate has condemned Lieutenant General Antonio Parlade Jr., the controversial spokesman for the government's anti-insurgency task force. So on Tuesday, April 27, a total of 15 senators, including the chamber's four highest-ranking members, filed proposed Senate Resolution PSR No. 709 to censure Parlade for his disrespectful, insulting, and demeaning remarks to um, towards the senators. So, and after the spokesman uh, relentless red tagging of community pantry organizers and other people, Parlade mocked and rebelled le uh, legislators. Um, they, he mocked the senators and, and called them stupid. So this, the senator's formal statement of disapproval against Parlade is a resolution of censure, but it has no legal ramifications for the but uh, I mean the Im embattled MTF Alcock spokesperson. Still, it's another sign of legislators clashing with um, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's executive branch, which has seen increased red tagging of government opponents during his um, reign. So senators said uh, the senators said that in PSR number 709 that Parlada's actions were hindering the government's counter-insurgency efforts. According to the senators, contrary to Lieutenant General Parlada's claims, progressive thinking is not communism. And the expression of views or critics as well as purposeful um, participation in humanitarian group efforts do not constitute rebellion, sedition, or ter terrorism. The fact that a majority of senators supported the Parlade censure is not surprising. Even I mean, given that the Senate as a whole had urged the third to fire Parlade from the MTF Alcock on March, senators have consistently stated that Parlade's appointment to the task force is constitutional, citing Section Five of the 1987. Constitution, which specifies that no active members of the armed forces should be appointed to a civilian position in government in any capacity. Senators Villanueva, Recto, Binay, Poe, and Gachalian have also filed a separate resolution calling for an investigation into how the NTF Alcock is spending the 
19.1 billion pesos budget, um, citing Perlades and the NTF other um, LCAC spokesperson, um, communications undersecretary Lorraine Badois, um, baseless, baseless, and unproven pub, um, public claims. Badoy had um, previously accused the Senate's work, uh, Workers' Union of being a front for the communist underground, causing outrage among both employees and senators. Parladi and Badoy have already been barred from commenting on the neighborhood countries by the National Security, Ad uh, Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr., Vice Chairperson of the NTF um, LCAC. As we can see, the majority of the senators support community countries because they promote bayanihan in the country. So they are questioning why the NTF LCAC is red tagging on uh, Patricia Nunn, the founder of Maginhawa um, Community Country. So as for my own perspectives, my own view viewpoints, I'd like to um, first, I'd like to uh, commend the community countries founder and organizer for such a thoughtful, innovative, and brilliant concept, I agree that um, progressive thinking is not communism. And I salute Anna Patricia Nunn, the woman behind the initiative, because she sent um, ripples across the world, uh, urging several barangays to open their own community country or Badegog Bayan to help their fellow Filipinos, especially those who are suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic. So I believe the purpose of community countries is to offer a mutual aid and assistance to one another rather than to treat others as charity cases. As far as I can understand, they're simply um, lending a hand, I mean, lending a helping hand to members of the community. And I think there's nothing wrong about that. They're just um, lending a helping hand to members of the community who might need assistance during these um, trying times. So this shows that Filipinos can depend on one another in good and bad times, not because they are powerless without the people behind the, the community country, but because of the sincerity, concern, and love of Filipinos. And the Filipino Bayanihan spirit is alive in these um, hard times of public health crisis and economic instability, I mean, um, um, uncertainty. And I think that will be all for now. Thank you for listening. God bless.